Hi, my name is Jim, and in this short demo, I'm going to show you how to navigate the various pipeline views inside of the Kubeflow Central dashboard. To get started, we're going to want to kick off a pipeline. So the first thing to do is to head on over to the sidebar inside of our Jupyter Notebook, click on the Kale icon, and this will allow us to enable the Kale Jupyter Lab extension. And once that's done, because our notebook is actually ready to go, we can just go ahead and click on the Compile and Run button. Now, Kale is going to do a few things for us here. It's going to validate the notebook. It's going to take a snapshot of the notebook, the data, and the environment. It's then going to compile the notebook, upload the pipeline, and then go ahead and run it for us. And now that it's in a running state, we can go ahead and click on the View button. And this is going to automatically navigate us to this particular run. And you can see we're starting with the runtime execution graph. The first step is completed. We're creating some volumes. And then now we're in the load data state. So this is going to be a graph that's going to be updating in real time. But let's go ahead and go up to the experiments view. And you want to rec recall that an experiment is just a workspace where we can try different configurations of our pipelines. Um, if we navigate then down to the pipelines view, you can see all the various pipelines that we have defined. We're interested in the dog breed uh, pipeline. You can see there's a variety of different versions of this pipeline that we've already um, created. And if you, for example, click on one of these, you can see you have the execution graph. You can obviously simplify the execution graph, but then also the YAML associated with this particular uh, pipeline run is there as well. Here, let's go ahead and select one of the runs that have already completed. By default, we, are, we land on the uh, runtime execution graph. Here we get our run output uh, for this particular run. In this case, it's the test accuracy of the ResNet 50 model. You also have configuration information associated with this particular run. If we click back over to the graph view, let's go ahead and click on the CNN ResNet 50 uh, step inside of the pipeline. Here, you're going to get your input and your output information. You're going to get visualizations um, as well. So for example, here you can see we're going to get our uh, test accuracy uh, for this particular model as a visualization. Uh, details around this particular step, any volumes that are associated with the step. You get your log information, pod, events, as well as ML metadata all within this particular uh, view. Now, say for example, we want to clone this run. Well, Kubeflow makes it pretty easy. We just click on the clone run button. You can see a lot of this information is pre-populated. Uh, maybe we're going to want to uh, change a, a configuration, start it, and that will go ahead and kick off as a run. Now, let's say, for example, that we want to do a reoccurring run. So that, that, if you want to do that, then you want to click on the reoccurring runs view. And here you can see I have a reoccurring run that's already enabled that runs every 10 minutes. Uh, that's where you would see uh, that information. Now, if we want to view the artifacts associated with uh, various pipelines or workspaces, you can see that here as well. So for example, if we want to get the artifacts associated with the CNN ResNet uh, 50 step, we can see that here as well. And that's it. That's how you can navigate the pipelines UI by accessing the experiments, pipelines, runs, reoccurring runs, as well as artifacts views.